This is Robin from the San Francisco Bay Area Sasquatch Believers. I'm here at one of my favorite places with my dog, who's so much stronger than me some days. Anyway, I'm really happy to see that there's not a lot of people here. You guys might recognize this as one of my favorite places for our little friends, my BFFs, my Bigfoot friends, but I think there's a lot of little people here. I think that's what makes all these little weavings that we see so wonderfully. Anyway, and I am so happy to see there's not hordes of humans here because I really need the energy of the little people right now. I told you guys that I would tell you what was going on with me. I might have to put you on pause here and there because of the humans. As a matter of fact, there's the place where the mother tree used to be, you guys. It's gone now. Look at this beautiful tree. I think they knew they were here and they cut it down. <laughs> okay, I got another dog coming. So I'm going to pause you guys for a minute and then come right back to you. Miss less words about pause and no people. I've just run into about four different sets of people and there's still more coming. Look at how beautiful this is. It has a kind of a color to it. And as a painter, oh, did you hear that? Something just fell there. <laughs> okay. Hi, little guys. It's the little people. It's the little people. Here's a family of kids coming. Back to pause. Hey, you guys. My battery just said it's going to die on me. <laughs> they must be really happy to see me right now. They don't want my electronic attention. What I was saying earlier was all the beautiful colors, right? The greens and the uh, sap gray greens, olives. Let me see if I can capture some of that. I know those people are talking. I don't know. They're not talking to me. So yeah, the phone battery is going to die. Well, we're going to walk this way till it dies. How about that? The only thing about the phone dying, I don't know if you guys have had this experience, is when it does die, then you can't turn it off because the screen is black. <laughs> Until it fully dies. <laughs> I'm walking in the weeds that I totally dislike. It's okay though. I'm doing it for a reason. Get away from the humans. Huh. Listen to me. My people, my peeps are out here. The little people, the little birdies, the tree people, the ground, the grass. Okay, so let's see. Very quickly, I was in a very abusive relationship. It was my own fault for allowing it to happen. I am no longer in that abusive relationship. That person is not necessarily doing very well, and I was feeling really guilty, and I needed to go find some knowledge my guides told me about getting some knowledge and I went to get that knowledge and I came home renewed, revigorated, reborn, uh, relieved, re-energized. Somebody knew. Somebody knew. So I came out here to see my little buddies, visit with the forest people, see their little heads sticking up. See the rocks. Use my dog, feel the earth. Yeah. And let go. Let go. I need to let go. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, just for a minute there. Did you see that, you guys? I slipped. I slipped in my head. I slipped. I went somewhere bad in my head. That's why my experience with the little people and the paranormal and the cryptid has really given me strength and courage. I'm a freaking Bigfoot hunter, so to speak. I'm a field researcher. I am boots in the ground, tennis shoes on the ground. By myself, I don't mind. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. My grandma taught me not to be afraid. Grab the fear bull by the horns. Go see what's going on. And I don't pretend to know anything. Oh, look at that. Nice impression. Something was sleeping there. 
but I'm doing way better. And if it hadn't been for this, if it hadn't been for you guys, if it hadn't been for this, I might not be in this place. Oh, there's a dark person standing there. <laughs> it's a lady with her kid. Funny me, listen to me. I'm going all macabre all of a sudden. Some of my buddies are not really out because there's people here after all. But when I came through the gate, I really felt welcomed. The greens, the forest, the trees, all of it, it just really welcomes me. It calls me, it makes me feel wanted. And so I'm no longer in an abusive relationship. I'm no longer being manipulated by a narcissistic personality disorder person. I'm no longer questioning myself or doubting who I am. I, you don't know me the way I used to be. You only know me from what I've been through. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you. I am a domestic violence survivor. I am a narcissistic personality disorder survivor. Not me. Well, maybe, but not really. <laughs> Everybody has a little bit of narcissism. The uh, other, the, the disorder is actually a psychopathic diagnosed disease. <laughs> it looks like a body. Oh. <laughs> Hi, you guys. I'm doing like this video for my friends. And I'm like, oh, look at the trees and the green. And oh, look, there's a body over there. <laughs> I'm really glad to see you because I might have been like tempted to go look, you know. <laughs> have a good one. <laughs> see, that's me. That's me. That's the woman that attracts the people that laugh and smile. That's why you guys are in my life. That's why other people are not and you are. <laughs> I am so blessed. Okay, well, I gotta... Yeah, thank you. This is Robin from the San Francisco Bay Area Sasquatch Believers. <laughs>